Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Put together a short video because I'd like to show you a Kickstarter, which is just a couple of days from finishing, which I would dearly, dearly like to see make its goal. It's a game called Maya by a guy called Simon Roth, who has a reasonable amount of experience within the industry, certainly not new to it. He was responsible for porting VVV VVV from Flash to C++, for instance. He was involved in creating parts of Connectimals, where he worked as a technical artist. He even made his own game engine by the name of Black Skies in 2008. And now what he wants to do is create a space colony game that's got elements of Dungeon Keeper, Theme Hospital, and Dwarf Fortress involved with it. So the idea would be, you build a space colony, you make sure everyone's happy, you continue to construct it, and of course, you help defend it from marauding aliens that would very much like to eat you. Not only that, but you have to deal with the fact that the planet itself is pretty damn hostile. The actual environment is encroaching and trying to attack you. We're talking about things like earthquakes, meteor strikes, solar flares, and this big alien jungle that keeps encroaching. You have to try and hold it back as you continue to develop your colony. A lot of this is, of course, done underground, so there's going to be a lot of Dungeon Keeper-style digging out of tiles and constructing rooms in the way that you would expect from a Dungeon Keeper and Theme Hospital-inspired game. There's also this pretty nifty 1970s hard sci-fi vibe going on with it, which I very much like. We don't really see an awful lot of that. There's also the inclusion of the first-person mode, which is something I really liked from Dungeon Keeper. It seems like he's expanded that to make it actually work properly this time around. And it gives you the ability to control various droids that you use in the defense of your colony. It's also got the idea of mood management. This is particularly important, actually. It's one of the best aspects of these kind of games. The fact is that you can have a bunch of colonists, or in the case of Dungeon Keeper, a bunch of monsters, or in Theme Hospital, a bunch of staff, and it doesn't necessarily go so well for you all the time. You have to manage the fact that their personalities are rather volatile, and they're put into these really stressful situations. You've got to make them happy. In this case, you can actually control the lighting in the underground colony to deal with the moods of your colonists and make sure that you've got everything you need to make them happy, healthy, and wise. The basic fact of the matter is we do not have enough games like this. This is a god game in the classic sense, the bullfrog sense. We're talking about Theme Hospital and Dungeon Keeper, and those are two games I dearly miss. Why we don't have these games anymore, I don't know. The last one of note, in my opinion, was Startopia, which was also fantastic, and it looks like this game is inspired to some degree by that as well. I like the fact that it has this dark aesthetic, that's something Dungeon Keeper had, and it also has that dark sense of humor, also something that Dungeon Keeper had. I don't know about you, but that seems really interesting to me. That's a genre that I miss, perhaps above all others. I've talked about space sims, I've talked about economic management sims, I've talked about proper first-person shooters, tactical squad turn-based strategy, but this is a genre that just isn't being made anymore, and it doesn't even make any sense as to why. I mean, hell, this is even a genre that would work on a tablet device. It would work very well, in fact, and yet there doesn't seem to be any interest in reviving it. What I want to see is this game, and games like it, become successful again. I think they're quintessential to the PC gaming experience. I grew up on games like these. Dungeon Keeper, Theme Hospital, Roller Coaster and Transport Tycoon, and of course later Startopia. These were games that elegantly blended strategy with management, and did so in a really fun and enjoyable way. I miss them greatly, and with three days to go, this Kickstarter is potentially in peril. It's an alpha product that they're trying to put together. They need the money to make sure they can fund the rest of the development. And I think, to be honest, it is close enough for us to really make a difference and do what we did with the first Kick Smarter games, Necro, Starlight Inception, and Ravage. We got all of those games over the threshold. I feel we can do that with Maya as well, and if you believe, as I believe, that these kind of games are sorely missed in our PC gaming library, then I hope that you will join me in pledging to Maya. The link is in the description below this video. As of the time this video went out, it was at £74,000 out of £100,042 total goal. You can contribute to this game from anywhere in the world in your currency, and I endorse it wholeheartedly. I really think it's got a huge amount of potential, and it would be a sad, sad day indeed if we weren't able to raise that much money for a game with so much obvious promise. My name's Total Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.